the crew worldwide from Kali to Twitter. Real hardcore fans, boxing ass niggas, consistency cops, police the views. We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose. Shout outs to Clan Arky for the dope production. Ring gang stay with the best discussions. Yes. Ring gang radio. Bring us to the other card of the evening, uh, which is which will be airing on Fox, I believe. Uh, Sean Porter versus uh, your Dennis uh, Ugas. Uh, Porter will be making his first defense of the welterweight title um, that he won, the vacant WB, WBC welterweight title that he won, beating up the beating up the overrated Danny Garcia. Uh, now, lies. He's defending his IBF. T- oh, hold on, what belt is it? IBF. WBC. WB. Uh, WBJ. Yeah, I can't remember all these motherfucking belts, my nigga. He's gonna, be, he's gonna be defending his his WBC belt that he won in a highly competitive fight with Danny Garcia. Think of that he just outworked, where he just outworked Swift because Swift didn't jab or throw enough punches like he does in all his other close fights or losses. So that yeah, that was a close fight, nigga. That was a that was a that was, nah, that was, a, that was, a, that was a close that was, fight, bro. That was not a close fight. No, that, that was a unanimous decision. I predicted that shit too. You know, and yeah, I, was, yeah, I can't. That, that was that was definitely a close that fight. Nigga got, that nigga got washed. He got washed on some. Hey, I'm not one of the people calling it a draw. You had people out there saying that shit could have been a draw. Now, that, I'm, I'm, I, I get that I'm a Swift fan, and I ain't saying that. Like he legit lost that shit, but I'm I, not gonna I, say that. I am not. <laughs> it, was, it was a damn shutout. <laughs> I'm not a fan of either, but I think I get that shit. It was like, it was like 117, 111, or some shit like that. It was pretty. It was, it was, that was a that was a that was a poor domination, you know. And, and you know, Swift only got three rounds to you. This didn't do a goddamn thing. Yes, he didn't do a damn thing. That was all Porter. Wow, you know, wow. Porter was the one that was actually showing levels. You know, not, uh, Danny. Oh, he was, I, I can see if you. I can see if he said, you know what, sixteen, one, twelve. But I just felt like you just gave nah. Porter like two extra swing rounds. Also, like, man, fuck this nigga. But I don't. I, 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 I'm not fan of either, though. So why would I be biased? I'm not a fan of either. I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of either, but you definitely not a fan of no fucking Danny Garcia. I'm definitely not a fan of Sean Porter. <laughs> nah, but you I, most definitely not. Like, you you legit, like, oh no, man. <laughs> but I, I guess we'll... Uh, but something about Danny's boxing just rubs you the wrong way. You just... I, I don't know, man. Like, we got to have an intervention on, on, on Ring Gang next time. We gonna get... Get PJ and Rome in this bitch, cause we just gonna be like, yo, Pat, why you don't appreciate Danny Garcia's boxing? <laughs> why? Just, sit down, sit down, just chill, chill, chill. No, 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 don't, don't, don't turn on the TV. Don't, don't do anything. Just you gotta talk about this. Why do you always pull out your scorecards a month in advance for a Danny Garcia fight? Why? <laughs> Give him a chance, Pat. But see, 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 it ain't, it ain't even about Danny Garcia. We done went off on that shit. Bro. Back to Sean Porter in this, in this, uh, you guys fight. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Elby, what do you think of this fight? I think it's one of the better PBC matchups uh, this year, and it's just one of the better fights in boxing right now. You know, it's good to see a, a young champion. Take on a, a well-deserved uh, contender, you know, and uh, you guys, he's fought his way up, you know. Yeah, he had a little setback a while ago, but, you know, he's done his thing, and he, he earned this shot, and do you they, they have a shot at uh, Porter? Yes. Do I think he's going to win? No. <laughs> no. I think he's just going to get out hustle, man. Um He's gonna, he might win the boxing portion of it, but I don't think he's gonna win enough of the boxing portion of the fight to, to, to really, to really get round. Because Porter, as we seen in the uh, Danny Garcia fight, Porter was, you know, he kind of turned it up on his boxing. Like he, he knows how to really, he always could box, but he looks more comfortable now. Like, like he could get on the back foot box, move around the ring. He's athletic as fuck, so he's he's diving around the ring, moving, using his footwork, pivot, and, and 
they just flicking the jab, hitting you with that, and you know, then he could rush in there with his head down and wail on you with like three or four punches, out muscle you in the clinch, and then work your body. You might go, you might get hit, beat up on the shoulder, forearms. You're gonna get a head, but I just don't think you guys, you you guys is proactive enough to beat a, a Sean Porter. If, if you're not, if you're not proactive. You gotta, you gotta be a big punter, and and you guys, he really ain't either one to me. Like, can he punch? Yeah, yeah, he definitely got a solid shot. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, he no feather fist, he no feather dust, and none of that shit. Mm-hmm. So I don't think he's gonna really set up the type of shots to really get Porter respect like that, like. Like, like, if you notice, Granados had, he kind of fought Porter in a way where, you know, you jab his head off, you outbox him, and then you got to be able to counter him and outfight him when he does turn it into a fight. And yes, he will, because Sean Porter turns every boxing match into a fight. Right. And I don't think you guys are just able to deal with all the type of dimensions Porter's going to bring in a fight with him. I mean, that's how I feel. Uh, probably gonna get a 116, 112 type of fight. Uh, you're gonna get like maybe two headbutts or two clashes of heads. Um, you're gonna get some good jabs, some good body work, some scrappy, heated exchanges. And it's gonna be a rough ass fight. Might look like Santa Cruz, Abner Marez part one. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I see, and also another thing too, because I believe Ugas has like the size advantage over him. Um, yeah, he do look taller. Yeah, hey, taller, and because I know the last time like, he looked big as fuck for a welter, and this motherfucker used to fight at one forty. So um, you know, so, I mean, but of course, I mean Porter, you know, was a, he was a football playing nigga, so he has football, he has football strength, you know, so yeah. he's not, he's not a pushover. I mean, the motherfucker pushes weight. Um, so it be more or less we would see that maybe if Ugas can use his size and as well as his, his boxing skills to keep Porter at bay to keep him from doing all that wild shit that he likes to do. Uh, now you have to be proactive for that, man. And also, and also too, like I mean, I like I had no problem with this fight either. Like this is probably the best fight in the world. Like let's put it this way: we could we could have gotten a different type of opponent for Porter. Um, I think I mentioned this before on a previous podcast. That um, the WBC, in its infinite wisdom, um, had all types of mandatories that were that, uh, for for Porter. Because I think you know they had the you know, WBC or like they give like two mandatories, whatever, to whoever wins one of their belts. So we had one mandatory, which Andre Berto got a gift against uh, Devin Alexander. He was a mandatory, and then we had Jesse Vargas. Uh, for the WBC, was it Silver Belt or whatever? And that was a mandatory against Thomas DeLorme. Uh, that ended in the draw, so that canceled that shit out. And then we had Ugas, and that was a fight that shouldn't. I mean, that that, that was a. I said before that fight was a fuck up for Jesse Vargas. He really fucked up in that fight, especially Two going down draws in a year. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, one draw that he deserved to win, and one draw that he probably should have lost. <laughs> That's, you know, but, uh, he's in purgatory right now. And then we have, and then we have Bugas who won his mandatory against uh, Barrio Nuevo in a fight that wasn't all that great. Um, but you know, like like I said, the PBC brain trust were like, man, people are not gonna buy us having Porter beat up Border Berto again. So we got this fresh fight, and I have no problem with it. Um, but yeah, I. One thing that, uh, yeah, but I do think, yeah, this fight is going to be rough as fuck. Um, yeah. As long, I mean, if Ugas can use his his, his height, can use his reach, um, like I can see it, I can, I can, I can see him taking the belt away from Porter, but he's he's got to stay away from Porter on the inside. He he has to. There's no, you know, if he if he do, if he if he doesn't do it, he's gonna get his body eaten up. Pause. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like I said, you know, if it goes a distance, uh, we expect that. But if Porter knocks him out, I'll be completely surprised. Uh, I, I, actually, I would, I'll be more surprised if Porter knocks out Ugas than Ugas knocking out Porter for some reason. I don't know why. 
Because um, you can envision, you know, you guys catching you guys catching him, you know, coming in with something heavy. Because you know he got the leverage and the height to make it happen. Whereas with Porter, if, if Porter catches you guys with something, it's gonna be some aggressive, you know, caveman type of damn knockout punch. Yeah. Some, some, <laughs> like this what he did with Pauly Pauly Milanazzi, where he just mugged him. He was looking like Prime Tyson, moving his head, jumping in with hooks. It's like damn. Yeah, exactly. That's the only way I would see, you know, him getting you guys out of there. Other than that, um, it probably is going to be a, a scrappy, rough-ass fight. Yeah. I, ho- I hope it's entertaining and good. Um, because, I mean, yeah, I mean, boxing, y'all, I like, I like how y'all do this, man. You know, y'all niggas, y'all choose to have y'all showcase fights against other showcase fights on the same night. Now y'all niggas say like you know what we gonna have good solid matchups on the same night. <laughs> like you motherfuckers, you. Right, man. Because Bivol and Joe Smith is is a good good ass fight too. Yeah, and, and it's a meaning and it's a meaningful fight. Like, and it's a title fight too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you got that. Then it's like I right, Porter Porter and you guys is free. Yeah. Like these niggas is like yo just. Turn on the TV. Yeah. You ain't got to go look up a stream or nothing, bro. Mm-hmm. So it's fucked. Yeah. So it's like, who who we got to choose? Like, like I mean, I would, ask my, would ask the host, but I know where he going to be at. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, I mean, but I will be able to watch it, though, over there because... Fox has does live TV on their site as long as you have a cable provider. So I will be able to watch the fight on my laptop over there. Damn, nigga, you double dipping? Like I did, I I, I, I did it for when I went. In the, for I did it for um uh for By and Rivas fight too because I saw I was watching the Zone fight on the stream. So I mean, obviously the Zone is what it is. I saw, but Fox offers the offers live TV on there. So I'm gonna make sure too that I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna be watching it. I wasn't the only one doing it over there too either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna catch it. Like I mean, if anything, I know there's gonna be like I think there's three fights on the Fox card. I think um, one of the fights was supposed to be um, Edwin Rodriguez versus Funfara, but Funfara of course retired and Edwin just fought. So the other fight that's on there that I know it's televised is uh, F.A. Ajaba. Who, of course, was who's infamous for winning a fight when his opponent Curtis Harper walked out the damn ring like it was a thing to do, and uh, he'll be facing mm. <laughs> and he'll be facing Amir Mansoor. Who? Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Damn, see, I didn't even know all. I didn't even know about that fucking fight, nigga. Nah, nah. Okay, now this card just went up a little. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not excited about that. I mean, I, I'm excited about FA Java because I think he's, I, I think he's a future I'm champion. I'm excited. Brutal KO that's going to happen. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's going to be as brutal. I mean, Amir Mansur is, is, I mean, he kind of, Amir has seen better days, and I just don't. That see. might be the only clean exchange or clean punch you might see because I mean, the, the Porter fight after that, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I don't know if there's, I don't know if there, I think there's a third fight. I just don't know what it is or if it's a, or if it's a swing TV. Fight. But I, I do think I, there's a third fight. Just don't, I don't. It's not like a known fight. But I do think there's a. I think there's a third team Random. fight. Yeah, because like I said, you know, Edwin and Fanfar were supposed to, you know, do their thing on there. But um, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't know. But I, I know for there, there will be a third televised fight. I just don't know who or what the, who it is. Um. I, but yeah, well, I mean, obviously we'll we'll, we'll sit there. We'll, obviously, we'll all watch it though, nonetheless. Um, but yeah, no, this is the thing I hate though, and I was complaining about this earlier too. When the, and this is and this is this is I, I think this has gotten worse in the last couple of years. Like people, like you know, people with different promotional out, uh, outlets um, having cars on the same day and not even at the same time, but at the same time. And that's fucking. That, that, that's 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 began to. To grind in my gears, so that's going to annoy the hell out of me. Yeah, um, that's 
Yeah. It's kind of productive, man. Like, real talk. Like, I swear, boxing fans, it's like, boxing does have the worst fans. But it's a double-edged story because I feel like out of all the sports fans, we're treated the worst. Boxing fans are treated the worst. So in turn, you, you it's like it spawns like disrespectful ass fans and just know-it-alls and loud mouths. And <laughs> it, 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 it's sad because, you know, it's hard to talk boxing with with. with, with, with other boxing fans so just imagine I mean Mm -hmm. so it's crazy but they gotta stop this counterproductive shit man these fucking y'all make it easy before when y'all have a showcase fight and then y'all have somebody else you know does a real good card and you're like alright I'll see the showcase fight the next day and you know I'll see this shit live but now y'all niggas even trying to just out competitive each other and shit Right, and it's, and it's, 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 it's a pain to ask. Like, you know, I, and before it used to be, and it's not even that long ago, too. It's like, I used to be like, it used to be oh, a rare occasion. You know, like I said, sometimes, you know, oh, okay, they're booking down on just um, a fight car on the same day, two different, oh, fine, then, you know, yeah, I'll break out the laptop and the TV or whatever, you know. Right, do- Pay per view, and then there's a regular, you know, a good card. <laughs> Yeah, like I remember. I, I like a perfect example. I remember too when um, the Chavez Jr. Martinez a car was on pay per view, and then the same night was um, Maidana versus Soto Carras. You know, and I remember. Oh yeah. Oh wait, no, no. What that wasn't the main event. Excuse me. It was Josecito Lopez versus Canelo. That was the that was that that was on that was on the car. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, this is annoying. But I remember I watched both of them. Um, I watched. I, I, think, I, don't, I think I want because I didn't I didn't pay for no I did pay for Showtime at the time yeah so I, it was like so I was watching the Showtime fight and I was watching that I was like okay I, and of course I remember I had a boxing high because you know there was there, there was a lot of fights that were just off the chain that night um, and I was just like damn I hope I hope this is not like the norm but it's gotten to be the norm and it's like next month too the same thing April we have two weekends back to back where there's multiple fights. Especially the fucking uh, second week in the April, there's like four different fights, you know, in the city, like four, di- four different areas, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, like, come the fuck on, like, <laughs> like y'all niggas is wilding with this shit, and then it's like y'all keep doing it. Like, come on, like promoters, it gotta be a better way. Man. Yeah, and, and I was just reading something too that, like, you know. That I know that uh, Top Rank is trying to plan something on the same night as uh, a better be if a better be if making his title defense uh, on Top Rank as he signed the ESPN um, against you know going against Canelo and Jacobs, which is kind of productive in so many different ways. Because I mean, although people will probably watch ESPN because it's boxing, most people are, most people are, the big, the bigger fight is Canelo and Jacobs, so it's just like you're hurting both fighters. You know, in this way, and then they're trying, and then I hear the rumblings they're trying to do it for the same thing with Joshua and Miller. I'm like, there are other weekends you could do shit on a Sunday for crying out loud. I mean, I was actually, I was actually with that wave, I have cards on a Sunday because since it's not football season, you know, I need yeah. things to watch on Sunday. <laughs> you know, not Sunday or Friday. Like, Friday, yeah. I feel like you got three days you could play with with this shit. Like, yeah, but you got. You got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then if that don't work, and if you want to be on some super rare shit, then motherfucker, you got Tuesday and Wednesday, nigga. Like, mm-hmm. come on, man. Like, and this shit gotta be a better way, man. They gotta stop the bullshit, man. You know, like I said, we're I mean, we're all and we're all fans of boxing. You know, we all want to see we all want to see some we all we all want to see boxing. I don't want to have to start you know competing for my attention because that shit. Going back and forth, that shit grinds on my gear. That shit grinds on me. I don't like doing it. Cause I feel like I'm gonna. I, mean, I don't even do that shit. I, I actually make a fucking choice. Like I, I, I literally be like, well, um, uh, jobber festival, hmm, pound for pound fight, hmm, showcase. Uh, ah, okay, I'll just find. I watch this one. Like <laughs> literally, like, like I, I ain't gonna do all the damn TV juggling and shit. Like. Y'all niggas is just gonna get my one at a time. Y'all gonna get my attention because I gotta soak that shit in on some real shit. 
Yeah. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm, I'm, I'm meanwhile, doing that. <laughs> meanwhile, I'm a glut. I, I have to do that shit. It, it's, it's, it's like a habit. Because I can't stand on... If I'm there, I can't stand just missing shit. That's, you know... It, it, it's a, it, it might be a sickness. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but, like, I mean, there's been times in the past where, you know, the choice been easy. Like, let me see. Costa Zoo versus Ben Taki or Toro Gotti and Mickey Ward. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Gotti always delivered. Yeah, easy choice. Let me see. Mayorga Trinidad or Clisco Touch of Sleep, Jeff Lacey, Vanderpool, or Uma, what? Damn, that, that, I ain't gonna lie, that, that Showtime card was stacked, right? Yeah. Again, and, and then that, that, that Trinidad Mayorga was like a horrible card, but that main event was lit, though. Yeah, it was mad lit. <laughs> See how it, like, you could easily, like, nigga was running from room to room on that shit, like, damn, you had, <laughs> the, you had the Showtime fight in, the, in, in my bedroom, then my pops had the living room watching the Trinidad fight, so I'm like, I can force the oh shit, oh Zab just knocked this one nigga out. Okay, let me back go in there like now it's like y'all niggas is just like fuck that. technology nigga. <laughs> 17 fights tonight. Yeah, we gonna have three fights on ESPN, we gonna have four fights on the zone, we're gonna have 12 fights on Fox and FS1. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, cut that shit out, man. Cut but you know, funny things too, man. If you think we're having and you think in 2019 we're having like an oversat? I mean, now there's Alex. Do you think we're having an oversaturation of fights? Now, I mean, granted, me as boxman, I liked it. But do you think that it gets to the point where it shit gets too oversaturated? It felt like that the first year when PBC came out. Like there was on legit. Like I felt like dumb niggas had boxing on TV like every fucking week at least two or three times. I don't feel like we've gotten like that. Like, I feel like every weekend there's a boxing match, but there's like f- four or five now, but they're not really quality. Like, yeah, that, that's I'm getting a lot of mid tier fights this year. Yeah, there's, and, like, yeah, that's I mean, there's, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of boxing, but I don't think there's a lot of big fights. I mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously not every fight's really big. Sometimes, you know, fighters need to fight so they, you know, so they can get this money. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of boxing, but it's not like... See, the, the difference... I guess the difference when the PBC did it, even though PBC wasn't making the best fights, like their matchups, like for the main events, for the elite guys, their undercard, their co-mains were matched good. Mm. So it's like you're having good co-main events. You're having good fucking... Like, almost... Like you was having real good level matchups on the damn co mains on those PBC cards, so then you was getting like one of those every fucking week. Like I don't even see the matchups right now on that level because what, what was that? It was a one good fight? Um, on, I think it was Spike. Um, like like it was Marco Huck and uh, he had got knocked out. Who was that guy who knocked him out? Uh, I, um, Glowicki. Yeah, uh, Glowicki did. Go, oh, go, go. Was that the first time he got knocked out? Or was that, no, Steve Cunningham knocked him out. No, so Steve Cunningham knocked out Huggy first. Yeah. I'm talking about when it was on the PBC card. I think yeah, Spike yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was Glowicki that did that. Yes, that, yeah. That's the type of match. We was getting a lot of those type of matchups. Right. On PBC, and they weren't even the main event, like. Mm-hmm. Now imagine if everybody started giving those type of fights this year. I don't. I don't think we're on that level yet. Cause I'm just picked out one fight. You had Cleverly versus Fonfara. Oh yeah, that that was that was a punch, punch fuckery in that fight. Even um, I think Jamie McDonald had a good fight with um, not Jamie. With, uh, with uh, Kamita, yeah. With Kamita, yeah. Like <laughs> you was having. A, Real good fucking competitive co-mains, man. Yeah, because that's right. I remember he won. He won that belt by one point on all the three judges. Cause I was like, damn, that shit was because it was that. I was like, damn, that shit was that fight was real lit too. I like that fight. Yeah, that was a good fight. Mm-hmm. 
so yeah like so i think yeah there's more boxing but it's not a, not at that quality where it's like don't miss like i mean you can't miss it type shit like and you also you actually kind of forget how much boxing is out there because there's so many fucking cards from different companies each night like yeah a lot of the third and fourth fight down the line you forgetting about like uh, I'll I'll end up watching the main event and the co-main and maybe that's it you know, and me, like, if I have the time to, you know, the zone. I mean, I pay for my zone, and the zone is mobile. So, you know, if I'm home or if I'm not, I, I watch shit on my phone or my laptop, bro, or my TV. I was at home. You know, cause I, I pay for shit. I gotta get my money's worth. You know what I'm saying? Me too. Yeah. So, and then between that, ESPN Plus, which I pay for, and then you know, the regular cable, which I pay for. You know, it's just like, yeah. I mean, it's just like, you know, if I'm yeah, if like, shit, like we should be seeing look man for all that shit you paid for I, I i'll give you canelo jacobs on the zone we, we having that okay that's the big fight for that network coming up but miller joshua that's 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 trash that's that's a showcase fight let's be honest yeah um let me see and now ESPN, you look at the, I'm just, you know, talk about the stars, ESPN. Uh, top rank Crawford, really? Crawford and Khan? Yeah. And, and that, that's going to be pay-per-view? Yeah, it's gonna be, and then and then another fight that I can't, I, I don't know why they keep trying to make this thing, so, but Pula versus Dinu on regular ESPN. I, that, that was a, that's an ESPN 2 card if I ever saw one, but they, they're, try, they're trying to make Pula make pull up pop i don't understand why um yeah and then let's yeah, say some of these niggas is getting main events they're getting cards to themselves and they really like they're not really worthy of it like and they're getting them just televised yeah it's it's, it's weird you know and but... then they only fight twice a year and usually they're only gonna fight a danger one dangerous opponent mm-hmm and then the next person they fight is usually going to be a jobber all the way to a guy who's a good name, but he's not really a threat to him. And I feel like that's what we get with Khan and Terrence Crawford. Right yeah. now. I mean, you know, unless we're, you know, we're... Right and you paying for a service, and that's that's who, that, that's the elite nigga you, you going to see fight. That, that's the big match you're going to see for the shit you're paying for, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's over. Like I said, it's over. You know, boxing, it's nice that it's on every. You know, they, there's there are fights every weekend. There's no question about that. I mean, I don't. You know, it, oh, like a boxing, like boxing. On, if there's not any boxing on any weekend this year so far, it's rare. You know, and like I said, and, and so far I don't think I've had a weekend where I said, oh, I got no. I think I had one where I'm like, oh, damn, there's no boxing. Okay, I got I, time for me to go do something else. I think I only had one weekend. Just like, give me, better, just give me better fights. That's all I'm asking. Like shit, right now I, I'd rather see Tiafimo Lopez versus Khan than motherfucking Khan and Terrence Crawford. <laughs> like, think about it. Like, really? Like, mm. that should that should be a fucking fight. What the fuck, man? Like. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy, you know. But hey, I mean, like I said, I mean, like I said, we can go back to when there's not any fights. So it's like, you know, you know, we yeah. we, we go to one and another. The gift and the curse, man. Gift curse, the, the gift curse of being a boxing fan, <laughs> as LB yeah. said, man. We are, we, you know, the 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 regular boxing fan. And I think LB Tilson too, as I mentioned too, it's hard to be a casual in these days because, uh, yeah, you get, you, I mean, you really have to know what you're talking about and know what you're watching <laughs> to actually really say anything. Yeah, like, like, like before, like, like before, niggas used to fake the funk about that shit, but really know what they're talking about. It used to be, because it used to be a lot easier since it was just when we Showtime and HBO with, you know, ESPN. ESPN was no, ESPN was for the more for the the advanced casuals and the people in the know. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and like and all the local niggas who, whenever they had a show at their area and their guy fought, like yeah. 
it, it was like the average sports fan in a way. Like, because I knew niggas who weren't even boxing fans, but, you know, Friday night fights and the oh, shit, you know, I just want to see niggas fight. You know what I mean, like. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because I remember when, back, in, back in college when I was a freshman, because my freshman dorm, um, we couldn't have cable in our rooms because of how the stupid building was wired. So, you know, we had cable in our um, in our common areas. Well, that and, of course, the RAs had their own fucking cable in their room, too. But um, I remember, too, like on Friday nights, you know, and usually Friday nights in college, I mean, grand before, I mean, I, you know, I would go, you know, I, you know, I need, I'd go out and get, uh, get wild or whatever, but I wouldn't do that, you know, I wouldn't do that before I'd watch Friday Night Fights. And there used to be like 10 of us on the fucking, in the fucking common area watching that shit. Like, and then some of the niggas weren't, like I said, they weren't like hardcore boxing fans, but you know, they was watching it because the fights sometimes were like, were on point, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that was that was that was, that was, that was the type that was the type of and, and like I said, it was easier to be casual back then because you know I think up to probably like two years ago, you know, to really know. But now, uh, yeah, casuals, uh, you know, they have to pick one thing. Like if, if they have to pick Showtime, and you know, or <laughs> Stone, or ESPN. You know, it's it, you know they have to they have to really pay attention else is like they don't know what's going on <laughs> it's overwhelming it's you know these, it's like niggas is like damn you got so many boxing leagues <laughs> yeah exactly and never mind the belt situation nigga. it's just like now you got now you got promotional like what should i follow now i mean yeah and then of course then of course you have some people who are you know who are you know who stand hard and like you know you know al Heyman, that's my guy so it's just pvc and then you know you get the and then they expose themselves and not know what to talk about easy. Actually, I don't think I don't, I don't think I see anyone's really stand for stand ESPN or the Zone like that. Like they like most people do PBC anyway. That's that should be weird. I, I don't know what what it is. Like niggas are standing like companies and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, I know it, that, that's really fucking weird. I, I'm just like I, I can imagine myself being in you know, back in middle school or, you know, art class and niggas is like, man, Crayola, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> Colors is busting, nigga, like, nah, man, yo, Prisma Colors, man, like, they like the, the, the BMWs and damn coloring pencils, nigga, you sleeping, son, like, <laughs> like, that's how niggas sound to me with that shit, man, I'm a boxing fan, I just want to see the best fight the best. Oh, yeah, exactly. Man, I don't give a fuck who work for this nigga, who get paid this, that, that, like, and I mean, niggas, niggas help make boxing become more corporate. You know what I mean, that Stockholm syndrome. Niggas is happy. Well, a motherfucker fight somebody. They're like, well, you know, well, damn man, I can't wait to see Tank fight again. Well, he's gonna fight a guy who moving up two weight classes and just for a month ago. So mm-hmm. I mean, he gonna knock him out, right? Yeah, I'm <laughs> saying though, that's good. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, but. I mean, if you know he gonna knock him out, I mean, don't you want to see him fight someone better? I mean, he undefeated, right? Yeah. Then, I'm saying, why are you hating, though? Yeah, that's exactly, that, that, that's, the, that's the word, man. That fucking yeah. word, hate. Hate. It's either hating I mean, or- That's how a boxing conversation be going nowadays. It's like, niggas is like, like boxing is like just creating stands, yo. Like, and if, it, if, it, if it's not the hating word, then you, then of course you call a couple of uh, racial epithets because you know niggas be taking it, they be they, they, they be trying to be taking that shit too deep and not knowing what the fuck they're talking about. That's another thing. Like I said, this shit is weird, man. I mean, I think this is just all side effects from boxing being divided as it is right now. Um, that's it. It's, it, it, it's, it's great. It's Lloyd and Pacquiao. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like there's gonna be boxing AD and B like BC and AD like you are gonna have like before before you know before Christ after death you know what I mean you gonna have before Floyd and Pacquiao and then after Floyd and Pacquiao because it's almost like two separate eras. Even though one even though that era has I mean the era really officially ended even though one of them is still out there. For how long? Who knows? Um, you know, but yeah, it's just like I guess it's just like when fans started, you know, arguing about purses or over damn matchups. 
that's yeah. when fans started caring about, oh, well, you know, the fight should marinate a little. Yeah. Or, like, or, or, <laughs> who's saying that? Yeah, and then, or of course, you know, then everyone turned on HBO and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and then you know, and then you know, it turned on HBO, but won't acknowledge the you know what Showtime did, you know, and stuff like that. It, 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 like I said, it's just it's just a whole bunch of nonsense. Yeah, a lot of niggas took a lot of sides. Yeah, instead instead, instead of saying instead, instead of keeping it boxing, you know, but you know, funny thing is most of them niggas aren't even there even talking about the sport anymore. Most of them that are, the ones that are on there because they have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Because they realize, because that shit, you know, because uh, you know, now, now we got HBO out of the way. What now? <laughs> you know, there's, but there's a whole lot of boxing. Talk about it. You know, PBC has a rollout. Talk about it. ESPN has fights. Talk about it. the Zone has fights. Talk about them. Don't want to talk about it no more. <laughs> man, it's so weird, man. Yeah, it really is though. But um, so yeah, no, I mean that was you know that was an unexpected topic. We didn't, I would, we were not expected to go. I was not expecting to go off on that topic, but you know, it's real talk, you know, and of course, if shit's real, we talk about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, y'all, y'all stop the counterproductive scheduling of these fights, man. We wanted that to go off on a tangent if y'all niggas wanted to do that shit. Exactly, man. I, mean, I wanted to watch one card this week, you know, at least one card on one day, not two in one day, but, uh, yeah. Whatever I miss one night, I gotta watch the fucking next night, and it's like, you naked. Like, yeah, why? Exactly. You know, it's the internet age. You know, this shit already be spoiled for me. That's why I guess that's part of the reason why I don't. Uh, that's the reason why I do what I do when I watch multiple fights on one day. <laughs> yeah, you probably watching 13 fights from damn Danny Garcia boxing shit, dude. <laughs> you be focusing it. That's why you be having him lose so many rounds, man. Hey, man. Y'all don't sc- schedule no more fights when uh, Danny Garcia fighting, man. Y'all just have Danny Garcia fight that night. Hey, I, I had Danny losing to Peterson by one fucking round. Okay, uh, like I said, I know what I know how to score a fight. I know what I'm watching. One round. I mean, I had Swift winning that fight, but it was close. And he damn sure lost some last two rounds. Ain't no, ain't no doubt about that. Yeah, yeah, no question about that. Y'all was the biggest like. One two ass whooping I seen in a championship fight in a minute, like at that time. Yeah, like, that, I'm like, well, that type of that Peterson man, that Peterson. I don't know. Watch the fight again. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Who knows when we'll see? I mean, we'll see that Peterson appear. I mean, he's gonna fight soon, but who knows when we'll see that type of Peterson appear again? Um. So yeah, I mean. That's our podcast for tonight. Uh, LB, any final thoughts before we get up out of here, man? Um, ring gang the future, ring gang for the culture. Uh, y'all make sure y'all hit our ring gang radio.com. You know, just for everything, you know, that we put out, you know, the artwork, the bars and boxing, the uh, podcast, everything. Uh, y'all follow us on Facebook. Uh, Podomatic, Spotify, iTunes, Google, all that shit. Twitter, yep. IG. Yep, that's, you know, that's that's all it is, man. And uh, I co-signed those statements, and I said I'm just going to reiterate, yeah, I'm going to be up at Turning Stone Resort Casino for the Baval Smith Jr. fight. So like I said, man, if you see a big black dude with a peacoat, depending on what the weather is going to be like, Hopefully there's no snow, knock on wood. You know, and if you see me, <laughs> if you see me there, you know, get at me. You know, I, talk, I talk to people or whatever, I'll be out there. If, of course, you see, you know, of course, if you're watching it on the zone, then you can probably see, you'll probably see me in the media, bro. So, um, yeah, so for myself, Pat Scorp, uh, for LB, uh, we are out of here. So see you uh, next time. Peace. Please.